name is Justin McNulty, uh, DJ Kuma, and I draw, draw psychedelic landscapes, and I make beats. I was uh, originally born in Brighton, and uh, when I was 12, moved to LA, lived there for 22 years, and now I'm back in London. Now I have the uh, Worldwide Family Volume 2 with Brownswood. I think the reason why I, I kind of, my sets have a lot of unreleased music is because I started DJing rather late in LA and LA <clears throat> already had the Beat Junkies and already had, uh, you know, amazing DJs, uh, Cut Chemist and you know, people like that. So I'm not gonna, you're not gonna be J-Rock, simple as that, you know. So I think um, I always had to play music that no one like really hears. I was um, at The Room, which is where Sketchbook started, and my friend Okasan was the manager there, and I used to just sit and just draw on napkins. Um, but she started, you know, giving me free drinks, and I would just give, draw on napkins and just give them to her. And then one night she was like, we have a Tuesday night open up if you want to just do something. So in 2004, myself, Eric Coleman, Take, and my friend Orlando Renault, um, we started Sketchbook. I used to bring out sketchbooks and blank record sleeves. And there was a little dance floor. Some people danced, some people didn't. But we had, you know, 20 odd sketchbooks out and people just sat and drew. Flying Lotus played his first show there. DiBiase used to bring his boombox and just hang outside. Lotus would come up, just play his beats. With the setup of the vinyl, um, I have the CD I, um, with the sequence I want you to listen to it, or the listener. Uh, but the vinyl is more for the DJs. Um, so say track one and two are both 80 BPM or 80, 83. Um, track one is on side A, and then track two is on side C. You can go back and forth with these two records, and you know have a little. You can have a little session. All of the songs are just songs that just hit me at some sort of moment I had some sort of experience with. The Toby Jug uh, track. I was staying in Manchester, my friend Johnny Dub and uh, Ilm Sphere, and then they were just playing me their friend's music, Abigail, and um, immediately just her voice is just, you know, stunning. Just this tune just kind of, like time stops, you know, when this is on. Like I can't think of anything to mix with it. I just I play the whole thing beginning to end. Beautiful. Yeah, Tevis is a, he's a new artist uh, that I didn't know in LA. Met him here down in London. Seven Davis Jr. I think people who've heard my mixes or you know um, wouldn't expect me to put something. It's relative. It's up tempo. It's like 120 BPM or something. But it still has that. You know, you still feel like you're up to no good. What's going on? I didn't wanna find you. Well, initially with the artwork, I didn't, I didn't really know when I was, while I was making it, that it was going to be for the, for the comp. I was actually drawing it before I knew I was doing the comp. Um, I wanted to do stationery. I wanted to draw nice borders so you can write your grocery list or poetry. But it ended up, you know, I got the comp idea came up and it just made sense to, uh, to use that art. 